hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is the first part of my self-discovery series so i'm currently in a phase in my life where i'm just figuring out who i am and what is my purpose in life and i feel like a lot of people struggle with like finding their identity and purpose as well and in this like self-discovery self-improvement journey i found that it's very important to identify your strengths and weaknesses and this just helps you to be an overall better person for yourself and for the people around you and during this journey i created a few tools that are helping me to essentially find my identity and today's video i'll be walking through one of the tools that i created to identify your strengths weaknesses opportunities and trends so let's get into this video so as you can see here i'm sharing my screen and this is the SWOT analysis um, template that i made in notion and the main categories for this analysis are the strengths weaknesses opportunities and threats and once you're able to identify these four main categories you're able to break the, the gap between where you are now and who you are right now to who you want to be so the first category are your strengths and these are essentially things that are you're good at and also come and they also come natural to you for example these can be um a natural ability a talent um an unfair advantage or even like a quality or characteristic about yourself and an example of an unfair advantage can be um, the family you're born into whether you're born into a wealthy family or you have parents or family members with a lot of connections in the industry that could be hold some social and monetary value also your education can be an unfair advantage so an unfair advantage can range from anything from your education to even um, a social or interpersonal skill the book unfair advantage talks about how you already have what it takes to succeed based on this book there are five main categories of unfair um, disadvantages or advantages i would say and they are money knowledge location and timing interpersonal skills and social connections so ali abdul who is a really big youtuber did a review on this book i would definitely recommend you check out this review um there was definitely a lot of insight on how you can identify your unfair advantages and you can identify them as your strengths as well so the second category in this template are weaknesses an unfair advantage can be a weakness and any weakness can be strengthened for some people some people find strengths in things that other people have weaknesses in like for example some people can be naturally charismatic and other people that can be their um, character flaw or something that they a character trait that they don't have and as a result is a weakness for them another thing can be um being artistic a lot of people there are some particular people that have just an art artistic eye and are able to visualize information and be more artsy while other people struggle with that so that can be a weakness for them but a strength for the person that has this trait. So essentially, you have to put in more effort into your weaknesses to develop them compared to your strengths because your strengths already come natural to you. The third category are opportunities and opportunities are available to you or are, are around your environment, essentially. And they are usually based on your strengths. Like for example, if you're a very observant person or you're someone that enjoys gathering knowledge like you have a desire for knowledge um it would be recommended to consider a career path where you can leverage these strengths like a career path in research or being a data analyst uh, or being a data analyst this kind of career paths can help are opportunities to consider another um, opportunity could be turning your hobbies or turning your talents into profitable businesses and also learning new skills like for example strengthening the skills that you already have and i know a lot of times sometimes it may seem like there they aren't opportunities around you but the best way to find opportunities is by creating them and the only way you can do this is by taking initiative so the author of the book unfair disadvantage says that to increase your odds of being successful you have to one take initiative two adapt to change and three find solutions to problems and this is actually very important because taking initiative 
really helps you to create opportunities. The way you can do this is by listening and just like taking note of the problems that you see around you, problems that you're facing, or the problems that people around you are compl complaining about, and essentially analyzing your strengths and the resources you have to see how you can solve those problems, right? Like in every problem, there is an opportunity and that is how you take initiative. And the last category in this template are threats. And these are usually hindrances that are preventing you from taking advantage of opportunities. And these are usually external disadvantages that are affecting you. And they can be like time, money, like lack of knowledge, things like that. And they can also be internal um, facing threats that are affecting you. And these can be factors such as like fear, fear of rejection, fear of public speaking, and also like being lazy can also, that's another threat that can prevent you from taking opportunities as well. So essentially identifying all these strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats, and working on how you can minimize your threats as much as possible really help you to be a better person in general and this also and this template will really help you with your self-discovery journey and help you to discover what talents you have what career path may be the most suitable for you and also helps with your self-confidence as well because when you have a better understanding of who you are your identity you tend to be more confident when making decisions and when interacting with other people and also and very important like knowing your talents and your skills knowing your talents and your natural abilities will help you to leverage them to make more money as well so yeah so hopefully this template will help you with your self-discovery journey um i and i know like self-discovery doesn't happen overnight i'm currently still in that process but I think just journaling and taking note of the things that you enjoy doing, things that are put our potential weaknesses, opportunities around you, and noting the threats to those opportunities will help you to be a better rounded person in general. And yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please like this video. So yeah, I will leave this template in the description box below. But please like this video, share it with your friends, and. Let me know in the comment section what you learned from this video and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!